Damn. Tuck and Dad's playing Madden, though. That's a good look. Dad's on the beat, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause he want a light. Hey, a light stopping with me. Midnight through the city. I've been going through some things, trying to get my mind right. Push the bucket to the lid. Push that bitch into the fish. Gotta get the full control, gotta get my mind right. What's going on, Cowboys Nation? It's your boy DMV back with another one in good spirits, man. It's my second day, really just being a, a at home bum. You know what I'm saying? I'm in between jobs right now. I uh, start my new job on Monday. Excited. Took a little bit of time off, so I'm getting some time with the kids and and all of that type of stuff, man. Um, so I'm I'm feeling blessed, man. I'm hoping that you guys are feeling blessed as well, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section how you guys are feeling, if you guys are feeling blessed. Because I know a lot of the times, you know, when it comes to you guys, you know, watching my videos and stuff like that, or you watching other content creators, a lot of times it's a release from, from what real world is. And, you know, and you get to, you know, talk with your with your brethren and, and your, your Cowboys family and stuff like that, and you feel that peace. So um, I appreciate you for coming by and, you know, nabbing you a little bit of that peace, man. And... You know, I kind of wanted to start this video talking about, you know, Tuck. You know what I'm saying? Tuck playing Dez and Madden yesterday. If you didn't get a chance to uh, watch that, they they went at it a little bit. And it was cool to see. I watched it a little bit. And, um, you know, I wish that they allowed Tuck to really talk on the other side. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like him and Dez, I feel like the banner back and forth would have been cool, cooler here. But it was a good little matchup. And it, it led me to do this video because, you know, about two years ago, or maybe it was a year ago, year and a half ago, whenever, whenever that draft trip was in Vegas, that really set off a lot of things, man. And, um, you know, it was, you know, I guess maybe pandemic still considered or, or after the pandemic, I, I don't know which one, of, who, who has the timetable of when the pandemic was, but we all met up. A lot of us met up on that draft trip out there as cowboy fans. Sorry, there's a bus going by. I'm just chilling on the porch. Um, and a lot of us met up out there, man. I met Professor O for the first time. I met Aisha Morrison. That was like right after she start, started doing her YouTube, right before she got hooked up with DallasCowboys.com. Spoonie was out there. Mary was out there. Uh, I met Camber out there. It, it was just an excellent time. And somewhere during that draft trip, Tuck met Dez, you know what I'm saying, at a casino. And you know, I'm pretty sure he's told you the story. If you guys follow Tuck, you, you guys know how that went about. But that relationship led to those two, you know, uh, you know, linking up a bit, talking to each other. And now they're playing Madden with each other. And that's the power of new media, man. You see, you know, Aisha, DallasCowboys.com, uh, Tuck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know how many subscribers or how many followers strong on Twitter, but you know what I'm saying? He's closing in on 10K subs on YouTube. Super proud of that guy. And it's just like the power of new media. Guys meeting each other. I think Botch and, 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 and Will Still was over on 105.3 The Fan yesterday. So it's like building these relationships. These relationships are turning into something that nobody could really imagine, you know, from us regular people doing something that we love from our hobbies. So... It's really dope to see that, man. Uh, you know, being shed in a positive light. On top of that, though, the next topic is going to be how us content creators, how the media uh, covers these players and really covers football as of late. And I'm really just going to challenge people because as soon as that Sam Williams, you know, info dropped, it sickened me, man. Like looking on the X app, formerly known as Twitter. We jump the gun a lot as people, man. We don't allow grace for anything, right? Like, we're always jumping the gun. People are ready to trade Sam Williams already. People are already ready to call him Randy Gregory. We got media members out there talking all this negative jargon. I know it for a fact, but I ain't going to say no names. But the media is out there talking trash about him. And 
At the end of the day, guys, it's football. It's football. It's one of the most grimiest uh, testosterone sports that there are. I think ESPN did a ranking of the toughest sports to play, and football was number three behind boxing, and I forget what number two was. But football was number three. And so in order to play this game, you got to have a couple of screws loose, right? You got to have a couple of screws loose. <laughs> Sorry, there's bugs and stuff flying. Y'all know I'm in, y'all know I'm in VA, man. It is what it is. But you got to have a couple of screws loose to play this game. You're not going to have choir boys. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have straight laced guys. You're not going to have, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 Carlton Banks is out there. You're going to have, you're going to have goons out there. It is what it is, right? And I look at it, and we're all over here tripping about a weed stop. We're over here tripping about that. And, and bruh, that's not the move. You know what I'm saying? And I, I look, I'm not the toughest guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I grew up, two parents. You know what I'm saying? I'm Clarence. My parents had a good marriage. You know what I'm saying? Th that's how I grew up. But I also grew up playing football. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple screws loose. You know what I'm saying? It's something about this game that drives me to be, you know what I'm saying? It's testosterone driven. Like, I, I, I turn into a different animal when I'm out there in between those lines as a coach or as a player, you know? And you got to take your mind to a, a certain level, but it takes special individuals to, to, to be able to do that, right? And, and you're getting guys from broken homes, broken situations. They're not going to be the best of citizens all the time. The things that we panic about, bro, it, it's, it, it, it's crazy how we just panic about the little things. And, and really, in all honesty, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to talk about the police just blowing something out of proportion here. But in all honesty, I'm, I'm just talking about us giving each other grace as human beings. You know what I'm saying? Did he mess up? Sure. Was it something crazy? Nah, it wasn't. Y'all, y'all, y'all found the first piece of news and y'all ready to run and y'all ready to gossip like little bitches. And, and you know what I'm saying? I hardly cuss on my channel like that, but y'all ready to gossip around like little like like little bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, y'all gotta understand what this sport is, what it is to cover it. And if you can't handle it, then don't cover it. You know what I'm saying? Then don't cover it. Is it news? Absolutely. But to go off the rails off of this news, that's what I have a problem with. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man. Your boy is out. You know what I'm saying? But before I go, man, make sure as humans we're, we're, we're continuing to give people great grace. Because there's a couple of guys that, that are criticizing him that got weed pens in their damn car too. That aren't as big as him. And nobody cares about you. But you're doing the same things and you're willing to criticize somebody else. But that's all I got to say, man. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to let things play out. If he gets suspended, he gets suspended. You know what I'm saying? It's part of the game. The Cowboys, this won't be the first time that somebody got suspended. You know what I'm saying? Act like you've been here before. And act like you know how to adjust. Real champions adjust. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.